Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we finally... Oh, by the way, yeah, in between episodes I killed a bunch of spirits, and there's still another one over there, but I think that's the, uh, the skull one, the flying skull one that uh, killed Wilhelm at the end of last episode. Yeah, I killed like uh, five, or f five or six more spirits, there are a couple over here and a couple more over here, and... I, we leveled up yet again. These guys give so much experience. They give so much experience and we are close to another level up. So, uh, without further ado, let's do it. Let's uh, increase um, Catalina's strength and her dexterity, I guess. Hmm, so what's what exactly, what exactly does she need to... No, not that one. Not that one. This one. To have access to grade 3. So that's strength plus dexterity. So, yep, that's gonna be it, and she's gonna have a nice grade 3 um, combatability. Let's look at that. Whirl and Master of Art of... F uh, master the Art of a Fluid Follow Through and surprise your enemy with a second swing immediately after an attack, dealing more than double the usual damage every five swings. Oh, so that's more than double, so that's like a 25 uh, damage increase. Um, I guess. Concentration every time you land a hit on the same enemy, add a stackable ailment to that target's armor class. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, especially against uh, Arver Arvesters, I guess. Strength immediately following your attack, turn uh, to fire a missile at several targets nearby. It procs three every three attacks. That's for ranged characters. Uh, Giants pull, pull back your weapon with a monumental force with no repercussions to speed or ability to hit or dodge your enemies. Uh, this is for elixirs, this is for any weapon. Every time you land a hit on the same enemy, gain a stackable boost, uh, boost to your spell resistance. And every uh, with every hit you land, gain a, po a portion of it back in health. That's that's very good. That is very good. Uh, oh man, that is fantastic. That's not very good. It's absolutely genius. Let's go with that one for Catalina, because she needs health more than anybody else. More than anybody else, that's our strategy. So let's look at her... Um, okay, so which one will I uh, give up? So she has... What's that? Okay, so yeah, it's that one. Bash. That's gonna be her. And she has... Um, so... Um, what? What? Level 2? Okay, so she has se Seismic Swing and she has Spearhead. So, okay, so, uh, can we switch those during combat? Because if that's the case, oh, if that's the case, that would be so cool. Oh, but I, yeah, Seismic Swing, I don't need that. I need this more. Yep. Anyway, Dachiana, she's gonna go with Strength and, and Strength. Yep, that's what she's gonna go. She's a damage dealer. Through and through, she has Rally, that's very good. Uh, she has now level 5, so let's go with this one. Uh, this one at second armor class. Oh, let's go, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, so, potion, poison weapon. Soak your weapon with poison to add corrupted damage that cannot be blocked by physical or arcane means to your attack. No, that's better against, uh, against uh, harvesters, I guess. Uh, polyformed wolf, knock your enemy. Okay, yeah, I need to be polyformed for that to work. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, man. Knock your enemies to the ground when you've morphed into a wolf. Uh, but, of course, she doesn't cast spells. So, let's go with Poison Weapon. And, hopefully, that's gonna work out against the Arvesters. So, I'm gonna give up on Fortitude, I guess. I get, Yeah, I guess that's a better choice. Rally's quite good. It has Physical Shield uh, for you and those around you at the start of the battle. It's, it's good. It is good. It's one of the reasons why we do so well at the start of any battle. So let's give up that one and let's increase. Let's go with that one. Yep, yep. Now, Giladel. Giladel is a ranged character, but uh, he needs he needs his aptitudes to work. So, I could give him nobility. No, I couldn't. I could give him philosophy or Arbinger. Uh, I don't... I don't know. Arbinger is good to get new companions, but I guess... I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna need any new companions because these ones are very good. So let's not let's not get oranges this late in the game. Besides, only two will probably not be enough to uh, for the uh, remaining companions that we uh, might encounter in the future. These are spells. I don't need spells for Giladel. I need this. Okay, so uh, 
Critical Flight, does he have... Oh, first off, let me increase his Dexterity. Uh, so Dexterity is gonna... Yeah, that's good. That's right. That is right. And now he's gonna have access to Grade 3... Uh, three, grade 3 abilities. Pull back your... No, I don't even know what that means. Pull back your weapon with a Monumental Force. I have no idea what that means. Uh, is this any weapon? It is any weapon, so let's go with that one for him as well. Um, let's go with that one for him, and there you go. Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna deal so much damage, hopefully. Um, now, Wilhelm, you know what Wilhelm is for. Uh, that is intelligence all the way through, and... Uh, yeah, uh, let's go with Woodwise once. Yeah, Woodwise once, and then healing spells. And that's gonna be Blood Cocoon. She, he's now level 8, so he can increase this to level 8. That's fine. And Minadora, uh, she doesn't have uh, she doesn't have aptitudes or or uh, yeah aptitudes. So intelligence would be cool, but I mean a little bit of intelligence, a little bit of perceptions. Her stats are actually very nice. Let's give her uh, a bit more of this amplify. Sorry, sorry guys, misclick right there, and there you go. A little bit more amplify because that's the spell she's gonna cast from now on, I think. And, of course, we're using uh, um, Catalina as our tank. Oh, by the way, I had to drop Citrin ships on the ground because I had no room. I had no more room. My inventory is full right now. So, let's take care of that Scully thing waiting us over there. I think it's a Scully thing. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So, let's see how it goes on. Oh, apparently it's alone. Yeah, it's the Scully thing. So, yeah, on the map... I saw a green orb over here before. I'm not sure if I saw it on camera, but I did see it before. Uh, I don't know what it's all about, but I hope that it's not something terrible, at the very least, right? Something yeah, friendly, something friendly. Uh, probably was the uh, greenish poison from this spiritual skull, spiritual flying skull, which is now being dealt with. Uh, accordingly to its appearance. Look at that. We are kicking ass. We are absolutely... Oh, Arvingers, you're gonna die. Yep, that's what's gonna happen to you, Arvingers. No, Arvingers, come on. Harvesters. Oh, they're, they're taking damage. Oh, I got a cure for that. Don't you guys worry. Uh, so I, somewhere around here, uh, it's something. Uh, somewhere. I'm just looking for it. Don't, don't worry, guys. It's paused. The game's paused. It's all fine. So where the hell is it? Uh, nausea, no, I'll see, no, quick spell, no, 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 I can't, no, 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 come on, where is it? Uh, Morphing to Fiend. Uh, there's a skill, I'm gonna have to check my skill book very quickly, it's a great two, it's this one, Siphon Poisons. How the hell am I not able to see it? Oh, there it is, Siphon Poisons on who the hell is taking damage. Oh, it's bleed. I think it works as well, so that's not a really a big deal. Uh, so let's see. If that channel is full health. Uh, that channel takes bleed, ethereal, cures Catalina's poisons. For so okay, so that channel, please, please heal that channel this time around. That's the one. So you're gonna heal. Oh man. Okay, come on. Good. And that channel is taking bleed. That's fine. Now she's cured. She is not healed though, so let's take care of that very quickly. And Minotaur is dealt uh, has dealt her spells for right now, and that is that. Oh man, if I had noticed it before, it what? It was actually a very cool, a, a very cool um, combat sequence that I managed to somehow win when we first faced this flying skull. Oh, it is alone in here. It was alone in here for some reason. What? Oh, seriously? This doesn't let me go anywhere else? No? Okay. Is there any entrance or something? Was it protecting something? Because, you know, when, when you find a tough creature, at least something different from the ordinary, it's usually because they are protecting uh, something uh, important, right? I mean, it's video games, after all. Apparently not. Apparently not. That was just a guy staying there. It's fine, it's fine, because we are gaining experience. We are now uh, closer. Uh, how much experience did I gain, by the way? Let me check my uh, thingy over here. So we're taking damage still. Okay, 476 experience gained. And let's check before if I still have access to that log. It should be somewhere around here. So how much experience did I gain from... 
Mm, from killing Catalina. Okay, it's the spirit. 733. That is very good. We gotta... Oh! Is that... Oh, it's the wolf! It's the wolf! It's our sigil! Yep, that's the sigil of Nekali, the Moon Lord. Let's see what it does. A statue devoted to the Moon Lord Nekali. Apparently it doesn't do anything. Seriously? Did we come all this way for nothing? No, come on. There must be an aptitude or something that can be used. Linguistics, maybe? Maybe? Nope, doesn't... There's no runes or anything. Come on, aptitudes. Woodwise, maybe? Let's see. Probably not. Nah. Uh, so, nobility, I guess. Herbology, nobility, arranger, philosophy. Philosophy could theoretically work, but I don't have philosophers in our midst. Maybe, maybe Catalina is gonna have some of that, yeah, because that goes with her personality, right? She's like a. I don't know the name in English. <laughs> you know, there's this um, philosophical current that defend, defends that uh, we should just enjoy life. For what it is and not worry too much about our spirituality uh, but you know um, I don't know the name of that thing actually anyway so that was that now we need to go over here and through the northern reaches of this lake oh we got we found something another shrine Roman council oh by the way this is the Roman moon lord shrine so that makes okay so this we were ambushed as long as... Oh, actually, if it's harvesters, I'm fine. Group of bandits. Uh, with a desperate gleam in their eyes. Okay, the bandits are not really a problem. And actually, I like bandits because they have uh, loot. That I then will be able to sell, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. You can assign hot keys to spells for each party member for faster faster spell casting. But I don't know how. I don't know how. That's my problem right there. I have to check on that later. If you, any of you guys know, feel free to leave a comment as usual. And let's uh, deal with these bandits. I was messing around a little bit with the old the wall movement thing. Oh, she's bleeding. What the hell is that? Oh, what? 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 Uh, I don't... What? What's going on? Okay, please, aggro. Okay, something is going on. I don't know what it is. But, yeah, it, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of some bandits. I'm gonna kill you to death. That's right. I think that might be the ones who are attacking her. I think that's a sword. Yeah, it might be a sword. And then and the green one is probably the ones who are working with the um, relevant um, party member. What the hell? What the hell did you go on ahead? Don't you have any missiles? Okay, it's it's working. It's working. That one is that that ability from Midori really really is good. Um. Is really good actually. I'm gonna ha start getting Wilhelm up ahead. No, not Wilhelm. Giladel a little bit up ahead. So yeah, stop that, guys. It's fine. We got some emeralds. We got a crossbow. Got a, some things. Let's just loot it all. Oh, we don't have. What's? What? Wait. Come on. Click, 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 click. There you go. And I don't have enough room. Of course, I don't have enough room. Let's see. So uh, bolts plus one. Can those stack? That'd be a cool thing if those could stack, but unfortunately they cannot. Uh, I still have bolts here, so you're not gonna use those. I'm gonna sell those. No, actually, you're gonna use those. Never mind. Never mind. I change my I change my mind very often. So I would love to know how those stack, but I apparently don't. So I'm gonna leave this thing behind and let's see. Uh, actually, there's a couple of things behind. And Iron Elm, pack of bolts. Might as well take those. Lined armor used. And the rest of the stuff is not really interesting. So let's go with a straight edge and hope that it's more expensive than the rest. I doubt it is, though. Probably the armor. Let's go with the armor. Uh, so line the armor used. Let's go with that. And let's get the hell out of here and visit... What was the name of that thing? Rumin? Ruma? Yeah, I don't know. Ah, the, the, the city right to... Oh. Oh, there it is. Roman Council. Let's go with that and let's hope that we... Um, well, that we get uh, more quests to do, because that's always, always important. Always important. When your inventory is full, you can leave items on the ground. No kidding, they will be there when you return. I know they will be there, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, loading screen. There you are. Okay, so this oh, looks like a nice sig sigil. You got going on there, Mr. Ruin. 
I re I really need a trader though. Ooh, is the entrance to the south or to the north? That might be the case. I thought. Yep, this is the outside of town. This is the way back to the world map. And uh, okay, so we are getting into town. Let's see. Let's look to our right first. Hmm. Too much grass. Too much ground. Not covered by human or or uh, whatever these guys are. Uh, constructions, and I prefer constructions to uncovered ground, because construction usually arbor merchants, and I need merchants for right now, please give me a merchant, no, no, oh, there was a door over here, well that's, a oh, it's not, oh man, okay, oh. what the hell are you doing, Catalina, going on a pad, without my permission, come on, come on, okay, 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 we got a duck, can I speak with the duck? But ho, duck! And with your wood, it's all it, yeah, it's all about food. Ducks don't really have anything interesting to say. I wouldn't guess. I wouldn't think they would have anything interesting to say anyway. So another duck over there, uh, and uh, qua qua qua. No, nope. There's nothing over here. Now let's go around the back, because hopefully that's. Is there anything? In oh, there's a door. Wand maker. What? Oh, it's a trader, is it? Well, if it's a trader, how the hell do I, do I get in? Through here, maybe? Oh, it is through here. There's a duck inside, as usual, because you usually find ducks inside wand makers. Oh, so it's, it's Istav. Oh, it's... Hello, Istav. Oh, are you wand maker? I'm the uncle of the wand maker here, but I know nothing of the art. I'm here helping him sort through his records. You'll have to barter with him if you need a wand. Okay, I'll speak with your nephew then. Uh, so, do you have anything else interesting to say or to do here? Uh, yeah, the same exact response. Now, let's speak with him. Welcome to the finest shop of ones in all the Staglands. I use only the freshest and finest materials to craft these delicate beauties. Would you care to see them? Your wand? No, thank you. Uh, what kind of materials do you use? It depends on what properties I wish the wand to carry. For quicker casting, I prefer the hide of a bog shroomer, although in a pinch, I'll grind the eye teeth. The eye teeth? From a sh what? Oh, the eye teeth. Oh, right. I didn't know about that expression. Is that seriously? From what? Is that how you say the teeth that fall off when you're when you're young? No. Isn't it milk teeth? Hmm. Maybe they have uh, they have a different expression over here in the staglands. I don't know. Anyway, he will grind the high teeth from a child. For arcane protection, I find that the skills of an imp are the best. Embedding gems enhances the power and the appearance, of course. Well, uh, let me take a look, because that's all you're good for. Oh, he has plenty... Uh, no, it doesn't have that much... Um, it doesn't have that much um, emeralds, and I don't need... Oh, actually... Mm, yeah, I don't, yeah. Get, Wilhelm is a heal, healer, so it's not really a big deal. I'm gonna sell you this. I'm gonna sell this crap. Let's get our stock of... The, ammunition over in there it's fine it's going well so we got a wand over here is that a wand no it is a crystallized dagger with 27 emeralds and we got over here wand of creeping herbology uh it does require arbinger i think so that's something that uh, i don't know what does it do actually yeah oh no wait a minute oh, it's worth a lot it has one to five potency to foul creep damage oh i don't use foul creep so I might as well sell that. Let's sell this, let's sell this, let's sell this. Because it's not really worth that much. Let's sell this. And, uh, oh, before anything, let's sell the... 30 for each citrine! Oh, man, that's very expensive. That is very good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have enough money to buy it from me. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna just uh, rearrange my inventory a little bit better. I do wish there was this... Oh. Oh, this one is crap. These ones, oh boy. Scaled armor. And this one, canvas lined armor. Yeah, they're crap. Okay, so we got a wooden boots that I don't really want for now, but I'll keep them because they look interesting. And got a long bow. Do you have anything interesting for me? So this uh, critical. No, what's that? Cast speed, I think. Hmm, I don't know. Forge uh, this commonly designed wand as a strong magical aura. So it's not the least, uh, not in the least overwhelming. Okay, uh, if that's not overwhelming, why the hell would I want it? Uh, so... Oh, it's not... Okay, I understand now why it's not overwhelming. 
had one port. Oh, oh, okay. So this ad. Oh, so the, oh, the ones ad. Yeah, that's right. I know what the ones are for. Look at that. One to five for nausea. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see. So what does this do? Spell damage. Uh, spell dodge chance two. That's spell resistance, and this is critical strike. What's that? Let me check my. Uh, so CS. What the hell does that mean? Cast speed. Okay, so that is actually a very good wand. That is actually a very good wand. Um, let's give it, yeah, let's give it to uh, maybe Wilhelm. Yeah, I am very interested. Let me get uh, a couple of those, actually. Oh, no, no, no. I kind of wanted this one. Okay, take this crappy one. Can you buy it? You can, good. So take these crappy armors that I don't want or need. And this crossbow that I don't want or need anyway. So this as well. And then the citrines, oh, you don't, you can't buy anymore. Okay, so it turns out the citrines are very expensive. It's good, it's good, because I didn't know that. But, uh, okay, a longbow. Does it, who the hell uses a longbow, isn't it? Isn't it her? It is, but she has a longbow of her own. So let's sell that one instead. Okay, so once I'm gonna give uh, this one to Dacia, to uh, Minadora, and this one to uh, Wilhelm. And we're good, we're good to go. Let's just um, sell that longbow that I don't need. And everything else is ready to be sold at the earliest possible moment. Uh, do I, can I sell, oh, I can still sell this leaf blade. I don't want or need. Yep, there it goes. There you go. So we're a little better in terms of money, a little better in terms of uh, inventory space, and certainly a lot better in terms of uh, our spellcasting abilities. It was a good thing that I came here. A good thing that I clicked that thing because I might, I might just have missed it. Let's check out the rear, not the rear, what, wait, no, please don't, no, don't read too much into that. Let's check out the back of, uh, uh, ooh, got a, a little, what's that? Elixirs and alchemy, oh, hello, can I get in there? Hello, do you work at night? Hi, can I rob your stuff, steal your stuff, maybe, no? No, nothing on the ground. Elixir Maker. Greetings, traveler! Are you interested in purchasing elixirs? I have a few varieties and am the only seller you'll find brewing. Holy elixirs, what the hell is that? Oh, I don't know if you've stumbled into the path of any spirits. I do, I have actually. But anyone who has knows that they nigh impossible to kill. Oh, yeah, no, they're, eh, okay. Shielded and protected as they are with their special brand of magic. Long ago, we crafted the green gases you'll see outside near the gates to keep the spirits away, and I found a way to battle it into elixir, to bottle it into elixirs. Oh, that's cool, for protection on the go. Also, actually, what shall, those green gases kill me, not the spirits. Let me take a look. Do we have an, an uh, holy elixirs, vials of glowing warm liquid. Each vial is wrapped in a thin iron band. That's cool. That's very cool, but I wanted something that cures me of those green gases, because those are very terrible! Those are very, 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 very dangerous! Let me... yeah, let me sell you my citrines, because I have the feeling that I'm not gonna need them. Uh, although, maybe that's it's a terrible decision right there, but who knows? Who knows? I don't! This is a blind playthrough! Don't worry, guys! If I make mistakes, you're not gonna make them when you play this game yourselves! And you should! Because it's a lot of fun! And there's actually a lot of ways that you can go around about doing things. And, uh, okay, so that's all. Do I, can I sell anything else? Maybe this? No, no, maybe, no. Okay, I could sell the boots, but I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna sell you this crossbow. That I don't like, I don't like that crossbow. It's too brown. I don't like brown. Brown is not a color that I find enjoyable. Nope, nope. And I have nothing against people who like brown. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Beige, on the other hand, people like beige are not trustworthy. It's that and people who don't like sweets. I kid. I kid. I trust everybody. It's one of the faults of mine. I am too trust... What's it? What? Trust? Eager to trust? Trust easy? Easy uh, Easy trusting? I don't know. Anyway, I trust people all too readily. And there's a duck. Not in video games though. Not in video games. I'm a bit, a bit more wary of strangers in video games. Don't know why. Don't know why. I guess I would have learned by now that I shouldn't trust anybody who randomly comes up to me on the streets. But up, up until now, I've been all, all right. I mean, I haven't had many, many uh, uh, trouble, much trouble with uh, strangers. It's a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, just maybe luck. Maybe I'm just 
lucky. Uh, not not something that I consider myself to be, but on some aspects of my life, maybe I am. Oh, he's got a what's that? A Spicer apprentice. Ooh, do you have papers? Can I rob you? Oh, it's a shopkeep. Hi, will you buy something for me? No. Oh there, Spicer, I can sell you some supplies if you're in need. Got all the basics you might want. Arrows, elixirs, a few weapons, even some wooden boots. Bo wooden bog boots, I believe. You, if you're headed towards Tatris Saltis. What the hell is that? Um, what what are wooden boots? Wooden bog boots. Not sure how they work, as I'm not much for herbs and plants. Uh, but I know that the marsh folks over in Tatris Saltis wear them to keep leeches off their feet. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'd like to take a look. Oh, so that's how... Okay, that makes sense. Where the hell are the boots? Please keep... Oh, there they are. Very good. So now... Oh, so that, that was why we were taking so much damage on that green gassy thing. It wasn't green gassy thing. It was just the swamps. That makes so much sense. Okay, I'm gonna take a potion of healing if you're if it's all right with you. It looks to be all right. Can I? Can I? Yeah, can I? Okay, please. Thank you. Can I stack them? There you go. And you don't have many though. You only have a couple. That's fine. I, I won't hold it against you. So I got a light cloak over here. Not really interesting right now. Got a wool jacket. Nope, not interested in that. And besides that, you don't have anything else of interest. Although I would love to sell you some stuff. Look at that. That's very expensive. Um, although these ones are not. Look at that. I was just. I wasted so much money on this. It's just. It's just pathetic. Pathetic. Um, so I could sell you this. Nah. I'm gonna have to try it out later. Let's sell you a bunch of crap that I don't need instead. How about that? Is that something that you find enjoyable? Huh? Huh? Bunch of crap that I don't need. These cloaks. These cloaks are crap. I'm gonna take some. Yeah. I'm gonna take some of those. Oh, oh, you sell only one? Why Why would you help me? Why would you sell me a cookie? Just a cookie. It's just a cookie. That's a cookie. Do you want... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna... Okay, you actually... Physical dodge... Oh, this is not... Why is that more expensive? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna keep a few, though, because this guy doesn't have uh, enough money, enough emeralds to buy them all for me. But, okay, so, can I sell you this? Almost, almost! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, guy. See you later, see you. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna cut the episode right here. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Serpent in the Staglands. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!